Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys such as bourbons, rye, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you're hitting the bell notification. That's just gonna alert you to when I'm doing the new uploads or live streams. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not doing an individual uh, bourbon review. This is gonna be a video for my top five everyday generally speaking, available bourbons. Um, so first I wanna start out with, and again, I'll have uh, all of the information linked in the description below. Uh, then within the video, if there's mash bills and prices, I'll have that linked on each specific bourbon so you're familiar with exactly what that may be. So first I wanna start out with the honorable mentions, just because these are two bourbons that a lot of people I think really enjoy but can be sometimes difficult to get based on the allocation. And those two bourbons are gonna be the Eagle Rare, um, which again, may or may not be available in your area. Same thing applies to the standard Buffalo Trace. Uh, both again, really excellent bourbons for what they are and always worth having around the house uh, for not only for cocktails, but if you're trying to introduce people to, uh, to bourbon or whiskey specifically, uh, it's something that can be very approachable. So my two honorable mention, again, are gonna be the Eagle Rare and the Buffalo Trace. Again, just because of the allocation, I didn't wanna just list it in there. Um, you know, Again, just because of the, the inability for everybody to generally speaking, get those two bourbons. So. All right, so with that being said, uh, we're gonna start with our number five um, readily available uh, bourbon, and that's gonna be the 1792 uh, small batch bourbon. This is one of those bourbons that are, is just, it's just always consistent. Um, it's upwards of about nine years old in terms of the age, offers, again, a fantastic uh, profile, easy to sip. 93.7 proof uh, and is right around that 25 to maybe $30 price point. So in terms of bourbons that are really, really nice to just sip on that are gonna be very approachable, I felt the 1792 small batch has to be one of the top five everyday type of bourbons. Uh, I know we'd like to all sip on high proof stuff a lot of the times, but with this video specifically, Again, this is gonna be just the standard or everyday sipping uh, types of bourbon. So there we have it. Number five is the 1792 uh, small batch bourbon. All right, so let's move on to number four, which is gonna be the Four Roses single barrel uh, bourbon. Again, this is another one of these readily available bourbons that I think everybody should have at the house at all times. It offers a really, really nice value in terms of what it is you're getting. Um, this is gonna be 100 proof, and I think this comes in right around that $40 uh, price point. So again, a nice fruity, um, spicy, nice oak, some sweetness. If you're looking for a really well-balanced bourbon, uh, this offers all of that. Me personally, I'm a huge fan of Four Roses in general, and this uh, specifically, their, their Four Roses single barrel, uh, I'm always a fan of. This is gonna be their standard recipe, the OBSV. Uh, so that's really what you're gonna get with most or all of the single barrels uh, that are not like a store pick. So again, this is the Four Roses uh, single barrel. Uh, again, OBSV. Uh, proof, 100 proof, 50% ABV, and again, right around that $40 uh, price point. So, all right, so we're getting closer here. So coming in uh, at number three for me is gonna be the Michter's uh, Small Batch Bourbon. This for me is really one of these bourbons that I've kind of newly been reintroduced to. Um, for whatever reason, I never used to seem to go to it very often, but once I tried it not long ago again, I realized just overall how good of a bourbon it really is. 
One thing I like that Michter's does that I think really helps to impart a lot of flavor uh, into a lower proof bourbon is the fact that they are or have a lower barrel entry proof. Um, so basically that's reducing the amount of water that's you know kind of on the front end. They go in at a lower proof. So you're starting to get a more refined, um, just better quality in general bourbon at a lower proof. That can translate into just generally more flavors because a lot of times people think that all of the flavor comes from the higher proof. Not always. There's a lot of other factors, yeast strains, uh, barrel entry proof, chill filtering, non-chill filtering. Um, but there's a lot of things that factor into it. And this for me, the US one small batch um, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey is an absolutely fantastic everyday type of bourbon and one that and now I try to keep uh, around the house at all times. And for me is really one of those that's become a bourbon that I try to introduce a lot of people who are new into bourbon um, this, this one specifically, just because of those traits that it has. So again, uh, this comes in at a 91.4 proof, um, and is right around that 35 to $40 price point and is generally speaking, readily available. All right. So there's the number three. Now let's go on to number two. And again, this is going to be another bourbon that's a little bit newer to me but really felt that it was, once I kind of got back into it and the profile that it had to offer was absolutely fantastic. So for me, my number two is gonna be the Old Forester uh, Signature Bourbon. Not necessarily or considered, or, or technically speaking, their signature bourbon, or it's not printed on the label, but this is probably their quote unquote kind of house bourbon, so to speak. Uh, this is going to be um, right around or is 100 proof for 50% uh, ABV and is right in that $25 to $30 uh, price point. So I uh, did a review of this one individually not long ago and just kind of almost fell back in love with it. It's that good of a bourbon that I felt it was just one of those ones that just should always be at the house. So for me, again, it's, it's going to be an everyday type of bourbon to have at the house. So um, if you haven't had this, definitely give the Old, For o Old Forester Signature Edition uh, 100 proof bourbon a try. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So, all right, so that's number two. So for me coming in at number one, this is gonna be um, the Knob Creek uh, Single Barrels Specifically, the 120 proof is what this one is. Now, the 100 proof is, is very, very good as well, but I felt for something now being in the number one spot, I kind of wanted to amp up the proof a little bit. Um, this is a well-rounded, always well-put-together uh, bourbon. Um, the standard 120 proof uh, is a minimum of nine years old. This is gonna be a store pick. However, the standard single barrels are all over the place and are readily available all the time. So if you're looking for something, again, that is sweet, bold, has some nice dark fruit um, notes to it, a um, little bit of spice and everything to it, the 100 or 120 proof bourbons will be fantastic. But I just felt to put into the number one spot that I would go with the um, Knob Creek single barrel 120 proof. I don't think you can ever go wrong with it. Uh, is a little bit oaky at times, but I, again, I think in terms of what it over what it offers overall, it's an incredible bourbon and is right in that 40 to 45 dollar price uh, range. And I think it's personally maybe the best valued bourbon out there in terms of standard releases. So there you have it. So I've got basically one through five in terms of my top five everyday bourbons that I always try to have at the house for people, um, for whether it's tastings, introducing people to, to whiskeys, whatever it may be. I don't think you can go wrong with any five, any of these five. So leave some comments. I know I'm gonna get, you know, whether people agree, disagree, 
Um, this again is all my opinion. These are just five that I put together that I felt would be a very, very solid uh, list of things to, to have on hand at all times. So um, with that being said, again, remember like, subscribe, leave comments, let me know your top five, you know, what would you add, what would you take away, whatever it may be, I'm always interested to hear. Uh, and again, I'll have all of the information linked uh, in the video or in the description as to mash bills, price, all of that kind of stuff. So if you're looking in the future, you can see generally speaking, uh, what some of the information is regarding uh, each specific uh, bourbon. So thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews or videos. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll also have linked in the description below. So with that being said, thank you again so much for all of your support. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.